Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. I hope this records because yesterday my whole PC shot itself again and I needed to reinstall stuff and I hope everything went well with reinstalling the X story and my editor and my graphics programs to make thumbnails and all that stuff. It's uh, it was not as bad as it could have been because I was able to rescue the world and my emails and all that stuff. That's a good thing. But I completely had to reinstall Windows again because for some reason Windows said there's an error. I cannot fix that. And this time I also made a recovery point. So at least I can, if something like that happens again, I can say, okay, here, please do redo this. <laughs> and I will make some more. Um, I hope that I can get into the habit to uh, make more recovery points. Rescuing the world was nice. I learned the trick that if you at least can get the prompt, the Windows prompt to work, then you can use DOS commands to start up uh, Notepad. And Notepad, you can use the Notepad as the small kinds uh, file, uh, <laughs> how's it called, file explorer or something like that. That was neat. I was able to just uh, copy my whole user folder and then there were all settings for the games all this was in there hope that works and i really like steam steam just if you restart steam and steam says oh one moment please there's something wrong here uh, we need to fix this all so let me do that quick and then your steam is running as normal <laughs> that's that's fine but you can see that something happened here and uh, I'm now on top of the big ship and the the monstrous surface of this big ship. It's now a really wide boy and uh, I have reworked the hangar. Now I have to fill in the holes and then work on the interior. But that should be a bit easier now and now that I really start to like what I have here. Um, doing the work is nicer. Yesterday I had a bit of time to just sit down, relax, play for a few hours and I used this time to do all of this. Um, I took two ideas that uh, two of my viewers had um, for the last video where, where I asked for opinions. Most of the people were okay with me redoing the hangar and so <clears throat> I asked for some ideas too and uh, Crash Games had the idea to do some bracing, some clamps, something like that around the hangar and I started off with these to, to have a bit more of a 3D look and to kind of give the, the point that uh, when there are two big doors in here, there needs to be bracing to keep the whole side stable, something like that engineering talk that I uh, shouldn't talk because I don't know anything about it. And Snapped Pixel said, um, do some cargo and fuel pots. Um, to to kind of keep the asymmetry. And I wanted to keep the asymmetry, kind of, make it more symmetrical. And that's what I did with these. So I will move the, I have on the other side, I have some um, um, pots for hydrogen. And I want to, or I have already put hydrogen tanks in here and I will put uh, or get rid of these and then uh, put some more cargo pots on the other side. So these will be have a different color, kind of um, red, yellow, something like that to make them really stick out and to, again, they, they, they are here to keep 
it a bit asymmetrical. Man, I can't talk today. It's too warm here. I'm I. There's not a lot of sleep that you can get when it's completely warm and nothing helps. And Germany is not a country that has too much uh, AC in in private homes. So the Americas are used to that, but um, I'm not. So for me, it's humid and warm and I really don't like it because it makes my PC loud. And that's just, <laughs> that's not nice. So you can see that these will be the hangar doors and there is a good amount of space in here um, that I can fill with other things too. Not only hangar, but I can go in and um, make a good size hangar with these two hangar doors. Um, I think I lost nothing when it comes to that. And I also made this 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 control towery thing kind of with uh, a bit of a staircase so you enter through the hangar can just go up the staircase use this uh, use this uh, airlock and the room uh, behind that is even pressurized so there can be a controller here that opens the hangar doors and that coordinates who is flying in, who is flying out. That that will be nice. I I don't know. I, I don't know if it looks good, but I really like it. Um, maybe I want or will put an antenna on top of it just to to have something like that. So I will not mirror the tower. The tower up there will be its own thing. Um, I started to put in a candy cane and I widened this. Um, this will still be something like a greenhouse or something like that. I'm, I'm not sure, but I, I really like it. Oh, it. It looks really, really white and flat, but I don't know. I, I like it a lot more than the hangar before and I will do some more work with with bracing um, around the around the ship maybe um, again give it a bit of an asymmetrical look keep the symmetry in the ship itself but yeah give it give it a bit of a different look i turned these uh these thrusters around that's how i what's this way and out of there i i painted a lot on the ship and that's maybe uh, my uh, built and repair system just took something out there good the 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 i turned around the the thrusters because this was the the edge basically this this block here we can take a look at it this block was the edge where then here was the the flat side and i just basically used uh, yeah, put the same that's on this side, on this side with this three block, um, uh, this three block uh, trench in the middle. And so I had the chance to turn around the thrusters. I have to think about something to make this a bit more appealing that that will come. And on the back side, I need to put in the thrusters and I'm not sure if I want to mirror this small hanger too, because we could do that too, have another hanger on this side. Um, could help, not sure. We'll see how that works out. But now again, working, working on this is for me a bit more pleasant. I like the, the look a lot more than what, what we had before. Uh, removing the hanger took a bit but I just built around it and then uh, fit uh, yeah started to started to remove it where I need it removed and the rest was then cut off you can see that there are the the stumps of the connections and I just cut it off and then painted everything pink and the built and repair system took care of it, it was a nice thing a nice thing to do 
Uh, th this will be removed later. I just have to uh, work out here. And in the in the evening, when I was done with building, I took out the big drill and brought in some ice. And that's another thing we will do. We will um, attach the Duchessa, or we could also bring it in with. We 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 will bring it in with uh, with a cargo with a cargo skiff skiff here, cargo bob, cargo skiff. However you want to call it, this thing, uh, hook it up and then we will just bring in the ice. Um, I need to refill just a bit of ice. I want to also do the test today with um, seeing how, uh, if I can land the ship with the, with the two hydrogen thrusters on board. So I will go in a bit bring up the Duchessa. Uh, the Duchessa helped a bit with uh, removing the removing the, the hanger. That's why she's on this side. And I will see if I can add the, the atmospheric thrusters, bring her to the... We have somewhere the spot. It's this spot. Um, that's the orbit above the base. So from there we will just go straight down into the atmosphere and land on the ice. I will put some some just some wheels below the Duchessa to not scuff her up too bad. Um, just yeah, just so that we can land on the ice and keep her safe from hopefully getting destroyed. I will save in that region. So if she if we land her too hard, uh, we can just redo that. Okay, let me prepare all of this and then we might meet up over the point where we will test it. Um, yeah, hopefully you like the changes to the ship and you don't know. I'm, I really like it. I kind of yesterday got into really into the groove Started building, got the sites done, got got everything done here, and uh, I really like it. For me, this makes a lot more sense. It fits more into, um, yeah, what I'm, what I'm trying. Um, the the last time it was nice having um, battles, not Battlestar Galactica, but uh, what what did I want to say? All these abbreviations. Um, Stargate, S S G one something, the Stargate ships, uh, the the human Stargate ships, they have they had this look and people mentioned it and I I like the look but on the other hand the look uh, in Stargate is uh, symmetrical. I also like and that's what I wanted to mix together the the look of the homeworld ships. Um, I like the ships of the Halo universe and these are all military looking ships with edges and with all this stuff I still need to build one day I will build my Sulaco in in Space Engineers that's also a thing I always wanted to build uh, but I, I started the project a years ago but uh, never really finished it and I kind of want to finish it at one point. Good, good, good. Okay, but now I want to prepare the the Duchessa for the landing and see if if this works out and if we should incorporate the changes into the Duchessa to see yeah if she would be able to to land somewhere. Um, we could use her as the the landing craft craft for yeah for mars for the alien planet we will see good um i will make the changes and then we will make our landing test the ship is now in orbit you can see that this is the the orbit signal there that i left left behind here um, where we might want to build an orbital station here directly above the lake where our uh, ground station is and I will try now to land this thing. I will try it multiple times if it doesn't work so I will go into 
um, I added the jump drive just you see that down there just to get here a bit faster that was pretty nice <laughs> so um, I will go down try to go into atmosphere bring the ship into a position where it is straight to the ground so that I just need the hydrogen thrusters to slow the ship down massively and then I will try to land on the surface of the lake if it gets damaged a bit I might keep it that way repair it and then bring it back up to orbit um, I have put you can see that some wheels under the ship these should prevent most most of the damage that just happens by landing it I, I tend to not use landing gears landing gears uh, sometimes if you forgot for example to turn them off they clamp hard and then the ship breaks that way with the wheels I hope that I can rough out or not rough out that I can smooth out some some bumps that might happen in in speed or something like that it hopefully works out and everything hopefully goes nice we will see the, if again the hydrogen thrusters are enough to keep the ship um, from crashing into the sea um, let us go I would say uh, I will turn them off as soon as we come into a region where it yeah, where, where it seems to be really necessary when it comes to uh, when it comes to speed, um, I'm I'm not sure how fast they can just slow down the ship. I will see if I can slow it down. How long I can slow it down with the iron thrusters, and if I lose the iron thrusters, then I might go in for the hydrogen thrusters. We, you can see we have. 100% hydrogen in the two tanks and as we saw it last time that should last us a bit good let me go down without hitting anything on the way down I will come back to you as soon as I come closer to the ground so you can see the at the moment the normal thrusters just still do a job a good job and I will see once I come to I don't know 15,000 or so that might absolutely change uh, change good back in a sec with nearly full gravity we start to run into a problem you can see that we are not slowing down anymore we are even accelerating so this will not end well uh, even with the two thrusters that does not work out in higher atmospheres that would have worked but now we will see a monstrous crash with this these two things here uh, uh, not good not good not good ouch so in 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 higher in the higher atmosphere um, and with a bit lower gravity it worked pretty well um, now it didn't so I will reload and we might have to prepare for the next time more power but that would be a lot more power and that could be difficult the the ship might not be able to I, I would have to put more stuff on there um, big atmospheric thrusters or something like that to keep it from from crashing so I will reload uh, bring back the ship bring it back to the base and then um, we will discuss a moment if there's any chance we could do more but I think it's not um, you saw that also the with the full power the hydrogen doesn't take as long to run out as if you just if you just start it up so a bit problematic everything good back in a sec so these two monsters are just not enough 
what do we do about it? The, the problem is I would have to add more hydrogen thrusters and I don't know where. And I have to say I don't really want. I thought if I could go with these two, then I maybe could find a way how to f maybe integrate them better. Uh, one in the front, one in the back or something like that. But these two are not enough. And so um, no way that will not work. Um, KMAX, for example, has rebuilt his Dechessa or completely uh, not rebuilt. He, he completely repurposed the ship and he doesn't even call it Dechessa anymore uh, and has put big, uh, yeah, big atmospheric clusters on the side. I think he mainly uses it in atmosphere. So that would work for me, but no... Um, I want to mainly use it in space and be able to land it. But it seems to be that smaller ships are better in handling the, the landing. So what we will do in the, in the future, in the relatively near future, because I want to go and take this ship out, bring it to Mars and then start something there. Um, is find a way to build a small uh, landing ship that I can fit in here and that can I can land maybe with a full with full cargo on Mars and uh, bring it down there so that yeah I can land some cargo on Mars without breaking the ship uh, like I did with for example the the egg drop that I did, the ship didn't break, but the ship was not designed to come back. But with this, I, yeah, I want to have a ship that I can use to carry cargo from the ship to the planet so that I can use it as a mobile refinery, as a way to store more cargo and yeah, go. What's happening there? Okay, it's flying away then. I'm not interested. Yeah, the, I I would have liked to use the Duchessa, and I was hopeful the first few minutes because it again it 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 slowed down its fall pretty fast when the when the thrusters were on, but with full gravity or nearly full gravity that stopped. Too bad, but we will. I will remove all the the hydrogen stuff use the use up some space to make it into a bit of a refinery ship a ship I can carry around maybe with some drills and then um, hopefully the fleet script still works so that I can um, fly both of these ships um, and maybe more later towards Mars and then we will uh, first establish us or ourselves in orbit around Mars and then we will go to the surface of it. Yeah, I will work more on this ship, uh, get it at least closed and then uh, we can do more work uh, on it while we are on the way to Mars or while we are around Mars. Something something like that will, will happen with this ship. But I need to see red red earth, <laughs> red, red soil. Uh, the Mars is hiding back there. And we will also go to the moon of Mars. I'm not sure. This might be the moon of the Earth-like planet, but it looks so different. It's a bit weird. I'm after the incident uh, after I started this world, I lost the planets and I had to bring it back, so I'm not sure. But around Mars, Mars was, I think, the only planet that still was there. So Mars and its moon will get a visit. And then again, we need to build a ship that can land there. And then, 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 and then,
<laughs> okay, people, I need to now stop. It's so warm here. My computer is running crazy hot. And uh, I will, or I want to give him a break and give myself a break and maybe eat an ice or something like that. We will see. <laughs> Good people, thanks for watching, I would say. I hope you like the changes. I hope you like the test. And uh, yeah, then I hope to see you in the next episode. See ya, guys.